waiting for the cameraman to be ready. I'm making a tower of tower coolers. Watch out, watch out. Oh, watch out. is it gonna work? Maybe it will. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> Wait a second, you're already rolling? All right, guys, now that we have a little bit of organization here and I know the camera's rolling, I wanted to talk a little bit about CPU cooler sizes. Now, we all know the typical 120 millimeter versions like this 212 Evo, which we just reviewed. Then there's the massive ones like this Dark Rock Pro 4 from Be Quiet, 140 millimeter size, and it's just a beast. It's a weapon if you need that kind of cooling capacity. But Be Quiet just released a new iteration of their Pure Rock Slim series. And this little guy is the Pure Rock Slim 2. I mean, look, look at this. Look at, look at the size difference, even between this and the 120 millimeter size. But anyways, this is a 92 millimeter cooler that's meant to have super broad compatibility take a bunch of the technologies that are present in the higher end heat sinks and put into something that costs just 25 bucks. And I wanna go over in this review why this might be all that you need for your system. But first, a message from our sponsor. The new N7 B550 gaming motherboard from NZXT is something out of the ordinary. The clean aesthetics with the metal cover is a minimalist dream come true. You get built-in IO shield and headers that are laid out optimally for a simple plug and play setup. The N7 also supports third-party RGB accessories through CAM software, available in both black and white models, as well as Intel and AMD. Learn more down below. Anyways, here I am with coolers all around me and we've got some back there. We've got even more down there because we're working on this actually really cool roundup right now of a bunch of the ones that you requested. But anyways, I also wanted to discuss a little bit of the controversy about this little guy and probably, of course, a lot of the other components on the market right now. And that is pricing. Officially, it is $25 not on sale. So it might even go lower than that. But the problem is right now is third party sellers have actually started buying new PC components that are just released and reselling them on Amazon, on Newegg. So you're gonna have to do a little bit of looking through the listings in order to actually find this for 25 bucks, but it is out there. Now look, 92 millimeter coolers are nothing new on the market. There's Noctua, Be Quiet, and a bunch of other companies that have actually come out with these over the years. But by far, this might actually be one of the least expensive ones from a big name manufacturer. But either way, this thing is freaking tiny. It's only 135 millimeters high, 82 millimeters deep, and 97 millimeters wide. That's a heck of a lot more compact than a typical tower style heatsink like the Noctua U12S and the 212 Evo I mentioned just a while ago. This is actually perfect in height restrictive situations where you might actually want a cooler working with the case airflow rather than against it, or if you have a system that doesn't really need an AIO or you don't want to spend the money on one. A perfect example of this is the NR200 which can take a max cooler height of, I think it's like 155 millimeters, which puts even something like the compact Hyper 212 series completely out of contention. But what do you get with the Pure Rock Slim 2? Well, it's a super, super basic design. There's a dense fin array along with three six millimeter copper heat pipes that flow down into a heat pipe direct touch base. Now that base had pre-applied thermal compound on it, but unfortunately, well, I didn't realize that, I touched it, and we had to wipe it off to make sure all of these shots were done. Now about the fan. So this is pretty much par for the course with almost everything Be Quiet does. And this is their Pure Wings 2 model, and in this case, it's operating at 2300 RPMs. Now that might sound like a lot, I know, given the fact that a lot of 120 millimeter coolers are well below that. But in this case, this is actually one of the quietest fans that we've come across, and I guess I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But at the same time, you might be wondering, what are the differences between the Pure Rock 2 Slim and the original Pure Rock Slim? Actually, they aren't that much. So first of all, Be Quiet extended this fin array just a little bit in the back. There's also been a little bit of a change to the base plate, but by far, the biggest change is probably in this fan and in the installation. That installation is now completely revised and it's super, super easy. So let's get into that. All right, onto the installation of the Pure Rock Slim 2, and this has got to be one of the easiest ones I've come across. So first of all, the AMD bracket is actually pre-installed. Now props to Be Quiet for actually doing that and acknowledging the fact that AMD systems are selling like super hotcakes. But anyways, I also wanted to talk about the Intel system because it's not quite as good as I would have wanted. What you have to do is you have to take off these AMD brackets with these two screws and then substitute the Intel brackets. And unfortunately, Be Quiet is using that same not trusted and true Intel pushpin installation system. Now, 
in all reality, this is a really good system for ease of use, but it's not a great system when it comes to mounting pressure. So anyways, with that out of the way, I wanted to show you how this cooler is actually installed. And that's onto AMD's regular mounting hardware that comes with every single motherboard. All you really have to do is flip the cooler over, and yes, I don't have the pre-installed thermal compound here because we've already done some test installations with it. Then take these little brackets that you see right here and push them down so the rib part is basically pointing downwards. Then you just rotate the cooler, clip it into each side, clip it into one side, clip it into the other side, if I can actually see this, and then just finish the installation by pushing down on one side, pushing down on the other. Now, the one thing that you need to take into account here is that this is not a screw down mount. So there is a little bit of movement, but Be Quiet did this in such a way that there's really, really not much. This is a really well done sort of stock installation. And now about that memory clearance. Well, this is a super slim cooler. I mean, there's a reason why it's called what it is. Even if all of your slots are completely populated by memory, there's absolutely no trouble in installing it. And that's one of the beauties of this, not only the vertical clearance, but also that memory clearance. And of course I installed the memory module the wrong way. So with installation out of the way, let's get right into performance testing, starting with how the fan speed percentages on this cooler align directly to decibel readings. So as we look through this, the incredible thing here is the fan is so damn quiet that it hit our minimum noise floor at 70%. And I can't tell you how impressive this is. And even at full speed, it only topped out at around 40 decibels or so. Right away, that means it has a leg up on a lot of the competition that usually run a lot noisier. Right out of the gate, the Slim 2 is super, super competitive against larger and more expensive coolers. And yes, the Evo 212 does cost more unless you find it deeply discounted. But even then, it's able to offer Noctua U12S levels of cooling at lower decibel levels than the 212. In a more comparative chart, it's really, really hard not to like what this little guy brings to the table, since it's able to stay super quiet while delivering great performance. But look guys, this is at just 95 watts. Let's see what a higher wattage does. Now remember, 125 watts is right up there near the Slim 2's maximum TDP threshold of 130 watts. But it still holds together things super, super well. I mean, at first I couldn't believe these results and ran the test over and over again. But yeah, in the end, it was still literally matching the U12S up to 37 decibels and actually beating the 212 EVO right across every level in this test. And this puts it into a little bit more context. Look, the Pure Rock Slim 2 isn't gonna dominate everything and anything, but for its size and price, it's ultra hard to recommend anything else we've tested over this thing, at least in this low price category. But there's a little bit of a catch. Moving up to 150 watts, and guess what? Yes, this thing reaches its thermal capacity super, super fast, so there really isn't any additional debate over it. So I guess it's time to wrap this up, and I think you know where this conclusion is going already. So I am super, super impressed with everything that Be Quiet is offering with this little cooler. Not only is it compact, but it also delivers really good performance, especially against sort of the larger coolers that are out there that might cost a little bit more. It also has really good installation process, as long as you're okay with using the stock installation process for both AMD and Intel. And it has really good noise levels. So I mean, that's almost like the quadfector, trifector, or whatever you want to call it, of coolers. But all I'm asking you guys to do is do not judge a book by its cover. Most people don't need a big heatsink like this. It even competes against entry level coolers that have been around for quite a while and everybody seems to be buying. So I guess that's pretty much it. This to me is that perfect cooler for most people out there. And you know what? That's all we can really ask for at this point in time, especially for 25 bucks. So I'm Mike with Harbor Canucks. I hope you enjoyed this one. I know I did and I enjoyed being surprised by products like this, and I guess I'll see you in the next one. No, 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 I, I got this. It's like Jenga, it's like Jenga. If you, if you balance it real well. We've got so many of them back there. I don't know, where, where can I stop?